Welcome to day five of the 30 day my D for SOC analyst challenge, which is a challenge I created for the sole purpose of helping aspiring SOC analysts obtain practical experience in 30 days. If you're interested in following along with this challenge, I would highly recommend you pause this video and start from day one if you haven't done so already. By the end of this video, you'll have a Windows server ready to go acting as your target machine up in the cloud with RDP exposed to the internet. Let's get started. To set up your Windows Server, you want to head over to Vulture.com and then log in with your account. At the top right corner, select Deploy and select Deploy New Server. For the type, I'll select Cloud Compute Shared CPU because we don't need this server to be extremely beefy. For the location, I'll choose the same, which is Toronto. And for the image, you want to select Windows Standard. And I'll select the latest version, which is 2022. And let's select the cheapest option here. So this one is $26 a month, regular cloud compute. This one's $24 a month. So let's do $24 a month, which is one vCPU and two gigs of memory. We don't need auto backups and we do not need IPv6. Now we did create a virtual private cloud, but now that I'm thinking about this, let's open up our draw.io diagram here. If I'm looking at my diagram, if somebody were to compromise my Windows server, they would have access to this entire network. And I don't want that. So instead, I'll remove it out of this VPC and only keep the VPC for the OS ticket server and the fleet server itself. So it looks something like this. The private network will still remain the same for Elastic and Kibana, the fleet server and OS ticket, but the Windows server will not have the private IP address, nor would the Ubuntu server. So that way, if somebody were to compromise my Windows server, there really isn't anything else on that network, and they just compromise that one thing. So what that means is that I am not going to select the virtual private cloud, and instead just deselect all of the additional features. For the firewall group, let's leave it as blank because I want everybody to have access to the server. For the server host name, this is extremely important if you plan on following the giveaway. One of the instructions for the giveaway is that you must name your server as mydefer-win-dash and then whatever your handle is, aka your username. So for example, if my username was Steven Rocks, then that's what I will use. Or maybe your username might be Bob McGee, I don't know. But make sure you follow this naming convention where it's mydefer dash win dash and then your handle, AKA your username. For the sake of this example, I'll type in Steven Rocks and then click on deploy now. After a couple seconds, we do see our status changed to running. Let's go ahead and click into that. And we do have our public IP address here. But if we select the view console, it does say your instance is currently being deployed. So right now it's not available. That's okay, we'll just wait a couple minutes. After about nine minutes, we can go ahead and select view console and our server is ready to go. To log into our server, all we need to do is click on this arrow button and then click on show extra keys and click on the send control alt delete. Now we need to type in our password. The password can be found right here. We can select the copy password and then we can paste it in by clicking on this clipboard and paste in our password here. Once you click on paste, you should see it right here. And then we'll sign in. And just like that, we now have a Windows server ready to go. The last thing I want to do is make sure that RDP is exposed to the internet. And to do this, I'll just type in copy IP address, open up remote desktop, and let's paste it in. Click on connect. And yep, I could connect to it. Perfect. You now have a Windows Server machine up in the cloud with RDP exposed to the internet. Within a couple of hours or even right now, there will be unsuccessful login attempts sourcing from the internet. And in later videos, we'll dig more into this traffic. But for now, we'll leave it as is while it generates logs. In the next video, I'll go over what is called a fleet server and how you can utilize this for easy configurations across your endpoints. As a reminder, I will be doing a giveaway where one lucky winner will win a free voucher for the MyD for SOC Analyst course. And additionally, there will be three one month passes for Try Hack Me. Details are provided in the description down below. If you're an aspiring SOC analyst, I would highly encourage you try and participate to level up your practical skills. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.